I mean, this, on the surface at least, sounds very positive. Well, it does, and, and I think really what this deals now down to is credibility. And amongst that, we're talking political credibility. Uh, the last deal that was here, the, the last protocol, I stood in this little perch for nearly a year saying all the bad things about it and how it wasn't really a good deal. And that's our job. That's our job as reporters, to have a look and dig under, sometimes reverse engineer stuff, and have a look at it and then report on it. Many parties here were calling for the rigorous implementation of that deal from the very first word. And public representatives, politicians are public representatives, and we have to remember that we elect them to take our money, divide it up amongst us, and make sure that we are in the best position. And when they are doing deals, that it is the best deal. So when Rishi Sunak got to his feet in the House of Commons last week, and said what a terrible deal the previous protocol was, it called into account many of those politicians and some in the media that were saying it wasn't a good deal, that it was the best thing since sliced bread. So politicians here now are taking their time to have a look at this deal in all of its parts. Because you can imagine there's a lot of moving parts in this. It's a bit like, you know, signing up for something on the internet. You go to one clause and then there's another clause, ten paragraphs down, that actually reverses the first clause. And in amongst that, we have had problems with pharmaceuticals here in Northern Ireland, getting those in. These are things that we pay for on the national health and as British citizens should have been entitled to. And the EU seen fit in that last deal to make sure that that was not going to happen, that it was going to be very, very hard for us. Veterinary is still there. That, that issues around veterinary medicines has not been cleared up. We know that now. The, the uh, Rishi Sunak had said so much about the oak trees coming into Northern Ireland. That is correct. They're not allowed to come in. But things like hawthorn and indigenous species of trees are still being kept out. Then there's the big question about red lanes and green lanes. Is manufacturing in red lanes or is farming in red lanes? What is a green lane? Well, it turns out that there's still 21 documents to be put in place to get in to the Green Lanes, and that means that stuff can come and go from Northern Ireland into the UK. And if if we can get that sorted out, that'll be massively, uh, well, it'll be great for Northern Ireland because our supermarkets will be able to have exactly the same things on their shelves that they've always had, and they've been missing and driving the prices up. But of course, there's the Stormont break, and this is where they talk about European legislation being put in place in Northern Ireland, and that behind us, if two parties can get 30 signatures between them, they can pull on the brake on any European legislation that's going to override inside Northern Ireland. Well, that's now been very much not the Stormont brake. Uh, all the legal people, including John Larkin, the former Attorney General for Northern Ireland, they, they have really said that's not the case. What's happening with that is those 30 signatures would have to get together. They would then travel from here to Westminster, and Westminster would then have to challenge uh, any of that legislation uh, to the EU and fight it out amongst themselves. So that's not necessarily true as well. The uh, other points that are, that are coming in there um, are as well, as, and it's this most important one, who has the final say? And that seem, still seems to be the European Courts of Justice, and it still seems to be that Article 6, the Acts of the Union, are very much in suspension, and that may take the DUP from coming back in here again. And of course, Geoffrey Donaldson, as the leader of the DUP, the largest unionist party here, will be in Washington on St. Patrick's Day, and all pressure will be put on him to come up with a deal, or it could be a very, very frosty reception for him. Yeah, Jiggy Beatty, thank you so much for giving us that update from Storm.